a digital tool to help parents who are concerned about internet safety and their kids. That's our text to nation in this episode. I'm Fred Fishkin. The tool is called Trend Micro Family. And joining us from Trend Micro is Lynette Owens, Global Director of Internet Safety for Kids and Families. Thanks for taking the time, Lynette. Thanks for having me, Fred. Well, give us the overview here of what Trend Micro Family is about and the problem, the problems, I suppose, that you're solving. Well, this tool uh, was actually developed in concert with a program we've had in place for just over 13 years. And that program is called Trend Micro's Internet Safety for Kids and Families Program. The focus of the program has been to educate parents, kids, and teachers about how to use the internet and technology in safe and responsible and positive ways. What we saw over the course of that 13 plus years is that while there are many tools out there to help parents with this challenge that only seems to be getting more complex over time, is there were many unmet needs. And Trend Micro Family was designed with that years of knowledge in mind, coupled with Trend Micro's 30 plus years of expertise in keeping people safe online. Um, and its, it's focus really is, is not just to put boundaries around children, um, it's also to support their digital well being. There is an acknowledgement that. The, te the technology and the internet is really here to stay, that for children to become successful in life, we need to learn how to raise them to be safe, responsible, and, and successful using it. So Tread Micro Family was designed with all of that in mind, not just to protect and limit children, um, but to actually support them to be successful using that technology and to support families um, to do that in their own homes. So step us through how this works now. And you're, you're, you're going a step further. It's more than just education here. You're taking some action to, I guess, prevent kids from going the wrong places, from being uh, victimized in some ways. Absolutely. And we've always believed that to keep children safe online um, is really about a combination of communication between parents and children or caretakers and children, as well as technology. And that is the most powerful combination uh, you, can, you can use to ensure that. So Trend Micro Family first and foremost does what parents of younger children often worry most about, uh, making sure that their children are sticking to content that is age appropriate for them as well as ensuring that they are not contacted by those on the internet whom they would rather not be in contact with their children. Um, and that is uh, pretty much a, a universal concern, especially of parents of younger children. But as their children age, they have different needs. Those children start to use social media, for example, and they are no longer just passive consumers of what they see online, they're now creators. They are now participants in those online spaces. And so a parent's need at that point goes beyond just blocking inappropriate content and making sure that uh, strangers aren't contacting them. We now get into issues about how they're using social media, for example, or even online games and whom they are using it with. So Trend Micro Family also goes a step further and starts to look at things like, you know, phrases that they might be searching for in a in a, uh, a search engine, or um, or even content they might be searching for on a website that might be of concern to the parent. So Trend Micro Family can help manage that. And finally, um, I think that uh, I do applaud a lot of the applications and devices that families know and love. Um, but the problem that is not being met today is that families have to go to each one of those apps or each one of those devices and put settings on, like privacy settings and filtering content for ages of their children. 
Trend Micro family attempts to try and do that in a central way so you don't have to go to all of those different places to do it. So step us through uh, how it works. I mean, kids are using computers, they're using phones. How does this all come together? Step us through. Yes, so Trend Micro family is actually an app that you would download onto the parent device and then you would secondarily uh, download the app for the child's device. And it is between these two uh, where the communication happens. So the parent device acts as, if you, if you will, a central console. <laughs> and you could put the, the child, ch child-focused app on as many children as you might need. Once it is installed on the parent side, the parent now can do things like, for this child, I want to limit the amount of time that they are on their device, or I want to filter this type of content from my child seeing, um, or I want to set the privacy settings for their social media in this manner. And this Very works simple. on the, whether a child is using a phone or, or, a, or a PC? It is actually designed for uh, iOS devices as well as Android devices. But so, not, for, not for computers. It is not for PCs at this time. For their mobile devices, I see. Yes. And different parents have different viewpoints on this. Uh, some are more liberal and some are, are more concerned. So they have different opinions about what they would want to limit. And you're allowing them to sort of uh, personalize this? Absolutely. We do believe that uh, it is not really up to us to decide what is best for every family. And there is a lot of options to um, make that determination within a single family unit, however you define family, by the way. And um, we also know that it is important, again, the tool itself cannot be the substitute for good parenting. The parent needs to continue conversation and communication throughout the process. So the other thing that we're, we're trying to do through the tool is also recommend to parents, you know, if you're concerned something has been flagged by the tool. Um, if you're concerned, perhaps these are resources that might be uh, of interest to you on how to manage screen time a little bit better in your house or how to talk about issues like, you know, bullying. Um, that is our intent is to make it uh, that kind of tool, not a set and forget, but one that supports a parent to be able to actively parent, knowing that their children are forever going to be online. And uh, Trend Micro is, is making this available without charge? That's correct, Fred. We actually have uh, multiple tools available to consumers at no charge. Um, and a little bit about Trend Micro, we, we serve uh, organizations and individuals of all kinds around the world. We've been around for 30 plus years. And um, but we feel that there are things that we do for individuals that are very important and we want to lower the barriers for everyone to be able to protect themselves and their children as much as possible. What we've observed over the last 30 plus years is that technology and the internet is you know, inextricably linked to us and our, and our success as societies, as families, and as individuals. But we also have grown increasingly concerned about its health about the health of the internet and what is or is not safe, what is or is not trustworthy, what is or is not suitable for a child. And it, we feel it's our responsibility having done this for so many years, again, to provide that protection to people of all kinds. Is it a tool that uh, kids, if they choose to, could easily work around or defeat so their parents don't know what they're, what they're doing? That's a great question. Um, and we know that in many family situations, there's a lot of trust between parent and child. Uh, I, in my experience working with parent communities for you know, 12, 13 years around the world, um, parents will sometimes just give their child the password 
to their phone or give it to their um, to their iTunes accounts. They just trust their child. Um, so I think that the product is as good as that relationship between parent and child. And if the parent really feels that that child needs more boundaries, um, we would advise not to give away access to the parent application <laughs> to the child. Um, and uh, having said that, I've met a lot of very, very clever children. Um, we probably underestimate the um, intelligence of a lot of the kids growing up today when it comes to technology, um, but that is not the intent of the product. The product is definitely intended to, to protect them. And that is why the two applications are separated the way they are. And again, where can people can find it on the, either iOS or, or the Google? You can find Play it Store. on the Google Play Store. Yes, you can find it on the Google Play Store or you can find it on the, um, the uh, Apple App Store. And um, they can also find out more at tmfamily.care tmfamily.care if you'd like to find out more about the product and then be led to one of the app stores from there. Terrific. Again, it's tmfamily.care. Lynette Owens, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred.